Hey, what's up, folks? My name is Siddharth from Odapun. So, uh, for the next two days, we are going on a very special trip uh, to Kohima, Nagaland. So, we have been invited to this uh, special award ceremony, uh, which is called as the MG Music Awards which is short for Musicians Guild Awards. This special award is an award for all the indie musicians in and around um, Northeast. And uh, we are very fortunate enough to have been nominated for this award on the category of uh, pop uh, duo slash band. Let's see what happens. And uh, we are from Guwahati and this is uh, me talking from my home currently uh, we have gotten our early morning uh, train from Guwahati station the condition here in Guwahati is pretty bad right now as it's uh, been flooding all over Guwahati and Assam since the last two days almost many roads are closed uh, I have booked an uber for you know 4 a.m. in the morning and it's already I guess 11 or something we haven't slept even but let's see what happens this uber is going to come and uh, if everything goes well we will be on our way to kohima so yeah that's about it i'll see you when i when i see you cheers This is Bhargav here. We woke up at about 4 a.m. We have all packed up and our Uber driver is waiting outside. We have a train at about 6.15 in the morning. So yeah, let's go. We'll see you at the station. Bye bye. So we are on the way to the station now. As you can see, it's constantly raining in Guwahati. Not only in Guwahati, but all over Assam and Northeast. Here we have reached the station. And us sleepyheads are having a cup of tea outside the station. This is the Guwahati station. And uh, here is the train. It's already arrived. Yeah, so entered the train. And... Uh, here is Pargov. The train left on time and uh, you can see these are floods all over Assam. You can see those houses, it's submerged and also the train lines. It was very frightening as well. Um, it even doesn't seem like floods. It, it's seeming like it's a whole river of water and it's scary but people are suffering like this every day their houses are being drowned it's very painful so that is how we reached dimapu station and from here till kohima we have to take a taxi like this we will take a shared one as it's cheaper and uh, uh, you know it's even comfortable it's not that it's not comfortable Anyway, so that is Bhargav again and uh, we have taken this taxi. So we have just reached Dimapur. Uh, we are in the Dimapur railway station right now. Uh, yeah, it was a thrilling ride. Um, it is about uh, 11 a.m. right now. I guess you can see some of the clips that we have attached earlier. Uh, the situation in Assam is really devastating right now. Uh, the whole state is underwater. Even the railway tracks were sub submerged underwater. But anyway, we have reached here, all safe and sound. And uh, now we booked a cab till Kohima. So yeah, I guess we'll see you there. Cheers. On our way to Kohima now. Uh, you can see it's raining even over here. It's been happening all around Northeast, like I said earlier. And uh, this is the highway that will lead us to Kohima. The highway roads are pretty bad at places, uh, which is really bumpy and it's exhausting. So here we are in the beautiful city of Kohima. And this is the homestay that we will be staying in for the next two days. Hey, 
we have arrived at Kohima and now we are here in this beautiful homestay it's called UV homestay uh, we'll share the details with you and even show you around it a bit after we take the permission of the owner of course but um, yeah it's it's a beautiful place and um, you know since we have come here just for two or three days due to the ceremony we'll we have booked a, a very simple room but again you can book some of their luxurious rooms and even suites but that is secondary let me show you guys the view let's go Hey, this is uh, Siddharth again. I know we are switching a lot between Bhargav and Siddharth, but anyway, uh, that is not important. Just look at this view that we are in. Uh, just, just look at this. Uh, wait, let me uh, use my other camera and uh, then you can maybe see a, a few good videos. I'll maybe attach them. All right. The view from this terrace is breathtaking. It's mesmerizing to the eyes and thank you God and nature for this beautiful experience. So this is the view of the beautiful Kohima city of Nagaland. This is the view of the city that we get to see from the homestay that we are staying in. So it, this tiny things that you see here are the houses and malls and whatnot of the whole Kohima city. And uh, if we move, the ca if I move my camera over here, so here you will see this amazing ranges, mountain ranges. So if any one of you have visited Kohima or are planning to visit Kohima, you must have heard about uh, Zuko Valley. So this range that you see over here is the Mount Zapfu range. And as soon as you cross uh, the Mount Zapfu range, you will reach Zuko Valley. Although uh, on this trip of ours, we will not visit Zuko as our time will not permit it. But I hope we can do it again someday, later. Hey, so I think that's about it for today. In the day one of our Nagaland trip, we have reached this beautiful uh, city of Kohima. We got totally mesmerized with the view of the city and uh, tomorrow is a i think it's going to be a good day today was really fun um the road was really bumpy i don't think we have enough photos or videos to show you that but anyway uh, it was a tiresome ride as we um, woke up very early morning but that's about it i think we will see you on another vlog and that's a wrap bye bye